Hey you guys, thanks for coming fishing with me today and for watching. Um, let's go catch some. Let's bring it way up. And then we're going to drop it way down. This is how you can get more time on the fish. If you drop it. There he is. Oh no, he got me hung up on this tree, y'all. Y'all see him? Oh, there he is. Run, huh? Okay. That was a big fish to start the day. I knew it was going to be a good day when I got that fish right off the bat like that. And I hadn't even been there that long when I got him. So you see me now. These jigs are coming down. Um, I'm going after this fish towards the bottom right here. And I'm. it's only like four feet away from the boat. And so I'm letting it drift right towards him. Um, trying to figure out where the jigs are. When they're this close, it's kind of hard to figure out where the fish is, where the, where the jigs are. Um, if you need to move it a foot or two to the left or right, um, you got to kind of play around with the beam a little bit to figure out where you are. See there, now I'm I'm bright. I'm trying to get it back to where the the fish was the brightest. He'll notice it here in a second, I think. There he comes. You see him turning up. There he goes. We got him. Well, I just know whenever they look up like that, and they're not you know drifting around or chasing, but they pan up that they're about to hit it that's i've never seen them not strike when they do that and sorry i'm having to record audio again i've i keep having a lot of shot I, I, i'm throwing that microphone away that i've been using i i got another one uh, in the mail yesterday and uh it's supposed to be a lot better. we'll see if it works any better i'm new to all this so still trying to figure all that out that's a big mark up there and see him coming down after it he was chasing down so I didn't know what that was. I kind of thought it might have been a small catfish, but he chased it down. And here he comes. He's chasing it up now. He he wanted it. There he is. That's a big fish too. You can tell when he stretched out like that. That's a that's a good sized fish. Yep, I'm reaching for the net. <laughs> you know, it's a big one when I'm reaching for the net. And so, you know, I I've said before that I wasn't really worried about that the new limit on Lake Darbone where you can only keep seven fish that are uh, 12 inches or more. Well, I hit that today and I hit it in like less than four hours. The big ones were out and they were biting. This was probably the funnest day of fishing I've had uh, in a long time, maybe all year. They were aggressive today. Um, we don't have many of those, those kind of shots that I've been showing where it's like the hard to, you know, the bite wasn't hard today. You get close to them, and they were a lot of them were jumping off at this thing. It didn't take much. There were a few that jumped off several feet to come get it, which was that was fun. There's one. Oh, he's chasing. He's looking at it still. Nope, he gave up on it. So I'm going back down there after the one that I was originally targeting, and I'm a little bit. I think my line is over. Oh, he saw it though. You saw him jump off. Here he comes. He's looking up. He's looking, panning up to it. Got it. There he is. I think my line was over the top of that tree, and so I couldn't get it directly over him. But he noticed it. I must have bumped into his tail or something, and he noticed it anyway. That was. There's an, that's another big fish. I know I had like three, three of my seven fish that could be big. I had them well before nine o'clock. And I, you know, I, it was, I knew it was going to be a good day today. I was just, it was one after the other, after the other. And not just that, it was everywhere I turned, there were fish. So I went to a little bit more of a remote spot than I normally go today. Um, that's not as heavily fished because there's not as much visible cover, uh, around, but there's cover, there's cover everywhere in Lake Darbon, but, um, there wasn't as much visible cover here. And so I think this place doesn't get as pressured, but there were fish everywhere i'll probably start 
coming out to areas like this in the future. Um, this is that's a good open water fish. I don't like targeting open water fish, but this one was state. He had been sitting there for a good ten seconds, so I thought I might have a chance to cast on him. Oh, oh, and I missed him. Yep, yep. If they sit still long enough, I'll I'll try to pitch to them if they're big enough fish. Um, but uh, he, you know, he sat still long enough, but I I missed. I did either didn't set the hook. Something didn't go right there. But that's a good mark there. You see them moving around a lot today. They are they were moving all day long. I I'd see them moving around. Here he comes. There he is. That's a good fish too. That's a that's a big one. I had several that were in the, you know, 11 inch range, 10 to 12 inch that, you know, that sweet spot that I'm looking forward to get some big fillets that that aren't over the 12 inches. There were a lot of them in that range today. I think my original audio is going to pick back up here in a minute. And I'm going to cut over to that where I can, but uh you know, I'll uh, it'll be back and forth. Hopefully it's not making too big of a difference. There's a lot of fish in there. You guys see all those marks? That's a big bed right there. There's, there's probably 10 fish in there. You could have sat right there and probably filled your ice test just sitting right there. That's good. Oh, he got off. He got off. Y'all saw that? He swam back down. Every one of those bright spots is a fish. Every one of them. We gotta get down there to them. Like I said, I'm opening my bale, letting the line out, letting it drop to get it right where I want it. I hope. There he is. Yep. That's a good one. Man, alive. Got the big fish today. Like I said, these different approaches, you know, where you can, oh, let's try to get one of these. We can glide over them, or we can do this where we drop it right on top of them, wake them up, and then they bite, oh, and then you miss them. <laughs> but that's the approach, right? So if you can't glide over them um, to catch them, then you just gotta try something different, right? So I go other places too. You know, I go some bigger reservoirs. Um, I go to a lot of bayous, but if you if you just want to catch a bunch of fish, you can come to Darvall and the fish are here. There he is. down here and I like these kind of setups because it's a setup where if I miss one of these I have like two more chances to catch good fish right here Yeah. 
more to go after. He reacted a little bit. Try it again, guys. I want that fish. That's a good one, I believe. We're catching a lot of good fish today. Heading for the trolling motor for a second. Which is worst case scenario. Really. Alright. So because it's a 12 foot rod, <clears throat> gives us a lot more leverage too, or we can have a lot more line to work with. comes one. Boy, he came up for it. There he is. These are aggressive fish today. I mean, y'all saw him? He came up from close to the bottom for this. He wasn't waiting. Pitch was pretty good. A little far out, though. Trying to get a little closer to these fish. Gee, seems to be lined up pretty decent. Alright, here we go. Here he comes. There he is. There he is. Good fish. No, not really a good fish. Small fish. Oh, I remember this spot. This was the big giant cypress tree. It's a, it's an old broken off cypress tree. This it's a big one. I thought those might have been marks the top. I don't think they were. I think it was just a hot spot for some reason up there, but I don't think they were fish. But after I tried to get those I noticed these towards the bottom down here there's there's just fish everywhere today so I saw these down here and I you know didn't want to waste the cast so I came down after them to see if I could get them interested and see what what was down there and let's see which one oh he's looking at it there he is <laughs> there he is that was a neat spot that big giant giant tree that's a good fish too that's a good looks like a nine or ten inch fish they were all big I, I hardly caught any small fish today i think i caught 24 or 25 fish and i only threw back i like three maybe so they were all the one they were big today everything i was catching that's a good mark out there that's a really good mark both of them are oh i remember this they acted scared to death of the jig yeah, I remember this. It was frustrating. And then watch what he does here. Okay, so I bring it over him. He turns like he's going to chase. Swims right past it. I I never saw, I've never seen that before where, you know, I, I wasn't being aggressive with the jig or anything. They still acted terrified of it. I, I don't know what that was about. That was weird. by him again this time I'll give it a couple of little bumps there's a few other fish right beside him now I don't know if that'll help us or not though oh, there he is there he is that's a good 
fish. was okay. Let's see if we can pick these fish up. The boat's moving a little bit. Oh, here comes one. Here comes, here he comes, here he comes. There he is. Oh, he came off. Man. That was me. So, I didn't get a good hook set there because I was over here messing with this transducer trying to keep him in focus. Let's see if we can wake him up. So the boat can move around now. I kind of know where I need to cast. But I just got to keep those transducer aims so you guys can see the catch. Here we go. All right. Right. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. There he is. Right, that's a good fish. Ooh, yeah, very good fish. Very good fish. Yep. Ooh. Did y'all see him coming out of there like a large mouth? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> That's a big one. Cool. <laughs> Big fish. Right, big fish. That means we can only keep two more big ones, guys. That's a big one. That's probably uh, 14. That's what do you feel? So here's a good setup, right? Y'all know I like these where if I miss that first fish, the one that's furthest away, I can go for the backup fish. almost was not long enough. Let's see. Ah, oh, come on. You saw it. You saw it. There he is. Alright. That's a good fish too. Man, there were just so many good fish on this day. Like Every fish I was catching, it seemed like was screaming out drag. Just, just fighting. And they were, they were coming out, hitting it real hard. It was, a, it was an awesome morning of fishing all around. My audio is, is gone from here on out. Um, that, like I said, it, it, it came and went for a little while there, but from here on out, it's it's out. So uh, I'll just be recording this. But this was a these are two good marks down here. I like uh, you know these these stumps like this because there's a lot less chance you're gonna get hung up on anything. And um, oh, I missed him. Yeah, that was that was a good mark. <clears throat> Much less chance you're gonna get hung up, and it, you know the fish, the fish will hit pretty readily on them too. The, you, you, there's usually not as many fish. There's usually only a few on, on the stumps like this, but um, you know you you can move around from from stump to stump and just catch them without having much risk of losing your jigs. And I was using a, a hair jig today uh, for the most part. I, I usually don't use them. Um, because I don't have as much luck with them. I use these smaller, um, 1.5 inch soft, uh, soft plastics usually. But today I had a small hair jig or a few of them. Um, and they were working real good here. Look, look at this one. He looks at, there he is. We got him. That is not as big of a fish, but he was, he was still aggressive. Um, but yeah, that hair jig was working real, real well today. And I, I like hair jigs a lot better. You don't have to keep repositioning your plastic or swapping them out or any of that. I'm, I'm a big fan of hair jigs when they're working. And today, it was working great. So I was very thankful I didn't have to to readjust uh, soft plastics all day or any of that. Just throw it back in there. You know, it, it was a real easy, easy day of fishing as far as that goes. Look at that big fish. 
So he just moved in. He, he just moved on this stump. I, I think whatever my original target was was not there or moved, or maybe this was him and he moved. But look, he just moved here. And so we kind of got lucky. Either he's looking at it. Bam. There he is. There was a few times that happened today. And, and you know, my uh, I would lose uh, lose my original target. Another one would be right there, though. Oh, so we're about to lose part of the video. The video up at the top where you guys can see me fishing. Um, for whatever reason, that cut out uh, for the last few minutes. So we won't have that. But you guys have seen uh have seen what i'm doing up there enough to know oh that was a big fish y'all saw him jump he came out about a foot or maybe two feet and hit it so we just got close enough and he came out and smacked it that was a big fish so the last few uh last few minutes here we won't have that top part of the video but like i said you guys have seen that part enough you know what i'm doing up there i'm just setting setting that hook as hard as i can on these things here he turned up Oh, he got to get home with a log, too. Yeah, just like that very first one did. That's a big fish. You see him fighting? That's a big fish. God, that big fish was just crazy today. I, I, I can't remember a time that I've caught this many big fish that quickly. Like, he was, they were on fire today. God, it was a fun day of fishing. Oh, look at this one. He turned up. He turned, uh, he lost it, though. Or he turned away. So here's another target though, right there. And he got it. Nope, he didn't. Not that time. There he is. So he must have missed it that first time, or it spooked him or something a little bit. So then he swam off, looked back up, found it again, and hit it. I don't know why I cast so. Maybe I cast out really far because I was going for something different that moved, but. Whatever the original target was, I don't think it was this. So I, this is my, <laughs> this is target number two, on this stump right here. Coming over him. Oh, I got hung up on this log. You see it? Oh, but he saw it anyway. He came up after it and he hit it on the log. Man, they were aggressive today. Like that, that wouldn't have happened Monday. I went fishing Monday. This was uh, this was Friday. I went out, and I went Monday this week also. And it was nothing like this. I went with my brother and we, I think, you know, we stayed out a long time and we only caught 12 fish the whole day. Like it was nothing like this. That's, that's a good mark there. Oh, that's the last, that's him. That's the last fish of the day. Cause that was the, uh, this one was 12 and a half inches. I remember, um, my last fish was over 12 inches and, uh, I think I had like 20 something in the ice chest at this point. And I said, that's it. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to sit here and target small fish anymore to try and load up the ice chest. And you know, I got enough fish. Um, I don't, I don't want to risk catching a big 16 inch or something and having to throw them back because uh, that would have broke my heart because I didn't have my scale in the boat. And so if I'd caught a big one, I wouldn't have been able to weigh them and I would have had to throw them back. So I called it a day right here. And, uh, and that's the end of the video, guys. Um, Thanks y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, I appreciate everybody and uh, all the comments and everything. And to the uh, the family and friends that are watching, I uh, you know I hope y'all are having a good time and actually getting to see where these fish are coming from that I, that I'm putting on the plates. And uh, you know we'll 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 all go out soon and, and catch a bunch. All right. Thank y'all. Bye guys.